Pep Talk UK are joined by a young man I've got a lot of time for, a lot of love for. I consider him one of my own because of Frankie and the connection to Ghana. It's the Royal Storm, Mr. Isaac Dogbo. Ding, ding, ding. I love that. Ding, ding, ding. How are you doing, Isaac? I'm doing great. How are you? Isaac, last time I met you, you had a couple of belts. You've come back with a shiny one now. What's yeah. this all about? This is the ultimate, you know. Um, the BBO title, as you all know, is a prestigious belt. It's a prestigious belt. And um, look, we've come a long way. So, I mean, it's a... Uh, I don't know the feeling, but it feels great to have it, finally. I know the feeling. Top of the world. The champ. Number one. But, Isaac, I'll be honest, my heart was in my mouth. <laughs> First round, I've sat there in the middle of the night, watched the undercard, I'm ready for my man, I'm ready, I'm ready on social media. And the first round, there was a knockdown. What happened? You know, um, we always say that God is the greatest architect, you know. I mean, I think if, if it didn't happen that way, it wouldn't have been exciting as, you know, as it was. So, um, in the first, it wasn't really, it wasn't a heavy knockdown. He caught me with a punch and I went off balance. And then later, like, my leg went caught up inside of his legs because Southpaw and Orthodox. So you're always trying to keep your leg outside of his leg. So was, when my leg went inside, I was trying to regain my balance. And yeah, this kind of like went off balance and I went down. And I, I, got, I got back up straight away. I wasn't hurt and I was just ready to engage. You retained one thing, you re retained your focus. You didn't suddenly then have to jump on him. You still boxed to a plan. You were composed from my perspective. And Jesse's no mug, he's a very good fighter. You broke him of down. Course, of course, um, you know, this where the, 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 the lion spirit comes, the lion heart comes in, you know. Now, there's a little bit more than a lion's heart. There's a whole background to you in terms of you coming from Ghana. You represented Ghana in the UK, to which you're no stranger, at the Olympics. What was that experience like for you? You know, the Olympics was great, you know, um, experience for me because I was fighting in my home, you know, London. The Olympic Games was happening in London and we had to be part of it. It was, uh, it was like a... It was a dream that every every athlete, you know, wants to wants to be something everyone wants to be part of. So I just had to be part of it. You know, I had all my amateur career here in England. I won three national titles here. You know, and then I was in the England Team GB um, development squad. You know, always going for squad training and things. So when Olympic games, Olympic game when it came, and you know, I didn't get a part in uh, to represent GB because they had previously done their selection four years earlier. At the time, I wasn't even in boxing, you know, so when I had the opportunity to represent Ghana, we took it because, look, it's a, it's a fight game. You have to be able to, you know, take every challenge as it comes, and that's, that's how we win all the time. See, one thing I'm grateful for is, you're back home, Miguel's. The boys in there love you, the staff in there love you, the people that train in there love you. You're one of South London's lads. You know, girls books it too. This place is it's like a family, you know, it's like a family affair. It's a home of champions, you know. Um, they call it the London Friendly Gym. And there's a world champion here. There's a world champion <laughs> at Miguel's with the WBO belt. Um, Isaac, you've got a nickname which is more than just a nickname, it's got a story behind it. You are the Royal Storm. The Royal Storm. Tell me a little bit of where the you royal know, comes in. The royalty comes from our royal heritage, because um, I come from one of the royal families in Ghana, and then the storm is we taking the, the world, the boxing, um, storm by, boxing world by storm. You know, my, um, my grandfather, he, like, our kingdom, they are the warriors of the land, you know, so, that's where the, that's where the... You're certainly a warrior. Um, <laughs> in terms of after the fight, I was waiting for you to come to the UK, but you obviously had loads of engagements in Ghana. I saw you in and around the president, I saw you moving around in Ghana. How are you handling the media pressure following the fight? It feels great, you know, um, when, I went to, when I went to Ghana, 
you know, like I said, I come from a royal family, you know, Togbi Badi royal, royal family, you know, so um, we had to pay homage. They've been great, so they fight, they've supported me greatly ever since I started even from the amateurs. And, um, you know, we had to go back, you know, pay homage to my grandfather, you know, to the, to the family. And you know, uh, visited the president and the ex-presidents. You know, and um, you know, finally we came back, and like, I just feel like great to be back because every, all the attention is still there after a month. You know, everyone is still buzzing. For me, you've got a great team around you. I love Mel, the lady that introduces me to you or introduced me to you. That does a fantastic job for an athlete, and I've got a lot of respect. For Mr. Paul Dogbo, father and son team. Not only is he training you, he's in your corner. You're also he's also involved in the promotional aspects of things. Yeah, um, you know he's worked really hard. You know behind the scenes, people don't see the amount of work he puts in. But trust me, you know when when everything is going on in the ring, only he sees. Only he, only he's the one that knows what's happening. You know, like when I went down. He has to keep me calm, you know, so oh, it's almost like, like a gradual process. I went down, I got back up, and I just wanted to just go back and just keep fighting. But it was like, Isaac, take your time, Isaac, take your time, keep moving, you know, so everything. You know, you always have to have somebody that is controlling it. You have to have um, someone that, um, you know, that is uh, that's leading the course. And like we said, you know, he, he, he opened a promotional company, Rising South Africa Promotions. You know, we, that's what um, they are, um, that's what we are operating under. And um, right now, I'm signed to Rising South Africa Promotions at Top Rank. And Top Rank as well, yeah. which means there's more fights in the pipeline. Of course. Are we going to have a rematch? We are. We were more than happy to give Jesse Madalena a rematch. You know, we told him that look, even if you want, we can give a rematch in August. That's my first defense. But Top, um, Bob Arum said, you know what? I'm too dangerous for the kid. And um, they don't think it's, a, it's it's advisable for him, for him, for them to put him in a ring against me. This thing. so hopefully when we we'll both move up in the featherweight division, some 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 years down the line. Isaac, I'm wearing trainers today for one reason only. <laughs> you're safe. <laughs> no, worry, you're I'm safe. not going to run from you. I was going to run away with something. <laughs> How fast are you over 100 meters? Do you reckon you'll catch me? You have to put it to the test. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to test that. <laughs> I don't mind the race aspect of it. My, my issue is when you do catch up with me, the rights and lefts and some of them body shots may hurt. Um, Isaac, in terms of the belt, you're now the WBO champ. It looks a bit lonely. Well, you know, the, um, the, ultimate, the ultimate plan is that after my first defence, we're looking to unify the title, the, the, the um, division. You know, we're going after the BBC champion, that's Ray Vargas, the IBF champion, Rasuke Iwasa, and the BBA champion, Daniel Roman. You know, we've got all these people on our on our list. You know, so we have to we have we have to make the division exciting. We have to, you know, put that, that fire back in, in the division. And any particular any particular order? Whoever comes first. We we've approached um Ray mm. Vargas before, they turned us down. So hopefully now that I have a title and he also has a title. Let's see what, how the negotiations go. There's the camera, point him out and have a word with him. Tell him to come face you. Ray Vargas, like I said to you, Jesse Mike Delano, I was, go I was going for him, I went for him and I took the title. You are next, so make sure the warrior of Africa, Isaac Royal Storm Dugby, I'm coming to get your title. All you guys who have titles in this division, Super Bantam with 122 pound division, watch out for the Royal Storm the warrior of Africa, the rising star, Isaac Croyostov Dugbe, the one and only champion of the world. And he's my friend, so if you come towards me, I've got Isaac behind me. But Isaac, thank you very much. I hope that we get to interview you so much more often because you're an actor. I think you're scared though. I'm you scared. I'm your friend scared. and I'm scared. So you, you have to let them understand that they should step, they should step up. Tell their fans to step up, you know. Let's make the, the division exciting, you know, because these guys, they're making everything like, dull. I mean, we're not even heavyweights. Can you imagine? Now the heavyweight division is even exciting. You know, so we've got to, like, you know, revive that, you know, that fire back, you know, so. The best fighting the best. Exactly. 
that it take it take you to the old days, you know, when we had the best fighting the best and you know, warriors fighting warriors and you know, we can have, you know, who knows? Well this warrior is ready, gents, speak to your manager, speak to your promoters, let's get it on. Signing off from Pep Talk, Isaac, you are an absolute gentleman. As always, my brother, thank you very much. Thank I you. hope you enjoy your time off before your next fight. I think we are back. We are, we are back. We are back working already because we have to we have to go get these guys. Don't worry, I'll eat the ice creams on your behalf. All right, no worries. No worries. <laughs> Cheers, people. Thank you. All right, take care.